Hi guys, my name is Anna and I'm into the binary options trading. That's a little bit windy because I'm in Dubai Resort and I'm at the Lamborghini. So guys, if you want to know more, if you want to get more results, profits, knowledge, you can just proceed to my Telegram link, to my Telegram channel where I post 12 signals per day and you can use it and get the same. But I think we don't need that. Okay, that's fine. I must say, maybe momentum was working because it's nice one. And I think, yeah, it was all correct. Oh, now it's getting narrow. And plus, the channel was wide. Hi, guys. Here is Miyano. You're just right there. I got a kind of interesting strategy. I don't know how it's going to be working because it's been a beautiful time with it and it's been a fourth time with it. But I hope we can handle that and we can use it. I'm going to stick to the 10 second trading because I've been using that before and that's my chance just to create some trouble and try to solve it. Okay, let's try it. Let's try. And we're getting started, and of course, 1 minute and 631 is gonna be the starting sum. We're going with the cryptocurrencies, the biggest payout. I uh, will may hold that shortly. I'll try to make it all these procedures, and we're gonna get going because I am just, you know, somewhere in between. Some professional traders, some traders with experience, my followers for some time who knows all these processes and all these newcomers and the beginners who wants to see that, you know, with all the details. So I am trying to go with the all details a bit faster, but still getting it. Um, Playing with the thicknesses, styles, and numbers. All that you need to know from here is actually the numbers. And we're gonna get going with the dungeon tunnel moving average and the momentum. Um, I must say that the moving average right there is a bit, oh, it's a bit extra because I am not sure that it's truly gonna be working right there. And I do believe we're gonna be checking momentum plus dungeon tunnel. Let's check it out. Let's see how it's going to be working. I found some good combination with the Dungeon Tunnels, but I am not so sure about the momentum. So we're going to be checking it. Okay, if you're going to be stick to it, I think we can see. And unfortunately, we can see that without the indicators because I cannot quite sure set all indicators to give it us to uh, give it us clearly that it seems like the highest point and we gotta get downward. If I'm being honest, the mantle doesn't work for me right there. I can see that the dungeon channel and I'm kind of scared because dungeon channel is getting quite narrow, but it's opening, it's opening, it's fine. We get some changes that if it's hitting the line, it's gotta get lower and we gotta get it open and wide. But in some cases it's getting a bit, risk it. and what am i say maybe we can maybe we can read all this moving average that it's just got combined with the middle line of the dungeon channel so we can have you know this combination like we have with the MACD or stochastic oscillator we can check it we can see if it's going to be truly working like that okay that's fine i must say Maybe momentum was working because it just showed us that we had such a big candle and then it get smaller and below zero. So maybe I was wrong. It was just fine. But at the moment when I was making decisions, I couldn't do it that way. Let's see. One more. Um, how about this one? No, maybe. Ooh, I just I just try to find maybe something that it's gonna be a little bit different because sometimes I'm going just with the same I'm going safe I'm going with the same bath and that's it Basing this one and going into the bit of this crossing let's trust the crossing and go into the upward trend I think the downward trend is gonna be still going on but I do predict that it's gonna be actually somewhere to end and we can see the rising so how about how about the line that we actually read is the green line from the inner city was stochastic oscillator um i must say moving average 
and we can see that green that was actually kind of accidentally but anyway so maybe this is a nice one with this type of period it's actually working somewhere somewhere <laughs> working kind of closely with all the lines and that's what I love in that strategy sometimes you can invent the indicator sometimes you can just repeat the indicator without using this same indicator that's a nice one and I think yeah it was all correct this combination of the lines are gonna be the key thing we need to check and plus checking the momentum so I must say it's kind of two points of focus But this one look at that raising and raising and raising this is kind of complicated this is a 10 second candle and we can see long candles that's kind of bad because you can see the long the big green candle and then switching so this is kind of the risk but i think we are at the highest point um how about this two lines that is just getting crossed we still cannot see that the crossing is happening, but we can see with the moving average. And right there, actually, it's kind of helpful because the Dungeon Channel lines are kind of straight, are kind of flat. And this is the good situation with the Dungeon Channel where we actually have space. We are located in the highest part with the candles, and we still have kind of big, big space to go downward. And some of the cases, it's going to be working just like that. And if we're going to double that with this crossing and the green line of the mover, we're going to get also the crossing downward. It's going to be the nice one. But I think we don't need that. Even if we're going to be rising because the crossing is not happening, not ha it's happening, but it was enough for us with the timing. It's, it's happening. Unfortunately, it does happen a little bit afterwards. That's the disadvantage. Um, hmm. It's not mine. That was the hard one. That was the one where I just got the quick bumps because looks like it's popping with the eyes and it's kind of cold right there no bad because the lines depend on the distance i mean the moving average in dungeon channel this middle line and oh it's getting closer the momentum candles are red but it's unfortunately getting smaller and trying to get upward oh no it's getting narrow and plus dungeon channel was white now it's getting narrow and I do think we're gonna get the change in somewhere here is gonna be the change in but I just I just hope it's not gonna be that fast or it's just gonna be this the tiny we could see actually the pattern before it wasn't the crossing but the pattern but I think that this is the end of the trend even if we're gonna be getting that upward it's been oh that was the last second but that was the risk that was the risk. Of course, the whole situation was like, we are at the bottom and we're gonna get upward. And I, I made it as a risk and I was just lucky. So if you are not so sure, because just to get that with the upward trend, we needed to wait a little bit. We needed something that is gonna be getting with the clear, more clear, more better signal. Okay, got a little bit nervous, but we just done. And this is it, and this is how it's done. Kind of like that. I don't know. I have like inspiration when I am when I am on track of creating something like that because that's kind of maybe next level. It feels like it. I need to be a pro. I need to be an expert just to create something like that. And the thing is, not about the combination, of course, but about the periods. You need to be kind of attentive to all this any numbers just to get it done and to get it actually working so wanna know more wanna get more you know where to find me all the links below this video are just in the bio join us